everyone, it's me Nikki here. I hope everyone is doing great. I am here today with my a video on sharing you how to put together a children's medical health binder. Um, a while back I did one on how to do one for adults. I'll link that video below. I think it's so important to keep all of your health information together, secure, and in order. Especially if you're going through a lot of medical issues, if you know a lot of people suffer and are dealing with and fight battling cancer and just a, a you know heart disease, just all kinds of things and you know a lot of information, health information is being um, accumulated during that time and so by putting this together for yourself or for a loved one this can be very very helpful for you and so I'll again I'll link that video below if you want to see on how to put together one for adult but today it's all about the kids and so I wanted to put together health binders for my nieces and nephews because I think that it's important to start when they're young when they're in the womb when you're pregnant put together their binders so that you can keep all of their health information together over the years and when they turn 18 you can give them this one simple binder and they have all of their health information so it's just really something simple that you can do but it can really be very helpful and take you a long way so you know I was talking to my friend girl the other day and you many of you may know her from Frozen and so you know she thought it was just such a great idea and so she wanted to also leave a message for my nieces and nephews uh, so let's hear from my friend Spend. Give Olaf back his nose, please. Thank you. Oh, hi. This is a special message for Madison, Savannah, Audrey, and Nate. I hope you guys are having the most wonderful summer. I had the opportunity to talk to your Aunt Nikki lately, and we decided to work on a special project just for you guys. It's going to keep all of your important papers together as you guys grow up. It's really going to be something wonderful, I promise. I hope you guys are having the most wonderful summer. Anna and I are just loving the summer in Arendelle. As you can see, it's so nice. And it's definitely Olaf's favorite season. I hope you guys have the best time and I can't wait to talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Okay, let's start with what you need. And you need your binder, and I say binder, but I mean accordion file, because I like using accordion files because it's easy to put the papers in. It can acc accumulate a lot of papers, which you may have, and you don't have to use three hole punch. You don't have to use sleeves or anything like that. Now, I chose to go with the Poppin' brand. I found it in, I uh, wanna say Staples, but you do not have to go with this brand because they have so many different types of accordion files. The only tip that I want to give you is to get something that's durable, something that's gonna last because this is over the years. I love the fact that Poppin' had the different colors so that kind of drew, drew me to it too because each kid could have their you know certain color but as you can see here I'm in Staples here and they have a huge array of different ones you can use you can also get them at any office supply store you can get them online I'll link some resources below if you're interested um, if you know just kind of get your uh, wheels turning on where you can get some but the accordion files I say are the best way to go but you can do the binder but you know I just like this because it's easier simple and then you can pass along to your kids you also need your label maker which of course that's a must and some file folders which is optional and so what I love about it is it has this like band on it so you can keep it secure and then I have all the little kind of um, sections here and I want to go through and kind of share with you what I have in each section but first what I did is I put their names I just printed out labels with their names and put it on the outside so each one has their names I also have another one coming for my older nephew Caleb he's older almost going off to college pretty you know in a couple years so I have a special one for him I didn't want to do his in the white and the colored I wanted to do his more of a kind of something that he could just uh what he likes now and so i'll be um, finishing up his along with my sister-in-law is pregnant now with her fifth child and so i don't know the name of the child yet so i'm going to set up the binder and then i'll send her the label later so i want to take you through and i kind of want to show you how i have it organized the different sections that i have and just my way of doing it but not that it is the way to do it you can do it whatever works for you Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty. Now the medical records are right up front here. And this is where you want to keep their complete medical records. A lot of times they're on disc, so you can just put the disc in there. And you just want to keep always keep your child's updated medical records. Easy for you to get to if you need it. Immunization records, you can keep those in there. A lot of times you need those for school registration and things like that. Well, if you have it all organized in your binder, you're good to go. Medications, if your kids are on any medications, you keep their medication records here. You can keep uh, pictures of the pills they take along with what? I recommend printing out a picture 
picture of the pill and writing beside it what is the purpose of that pill that's great for babysitters it's great for emergency situations and so I just think it's a great safety uh, method you know thing to do now contacts this is where you keep all of their contacts such as their physicians their doctors their health uh, care facilities that they go to anything as it relates to their health you want to keep all, all of that contact pharmacy contacts would be a great um, even child care you can keep those kind of contacts in this section now the tracking tools this is where you would keep like an allergy log you could keep care schedules growth tracking forms your child's growth chart any diet tracking forms that they have maybe any notes that you want to take on your child as far as their health eating habits anything like that you can keep in the tracking section the school section is for all that school health related information such as school nurse forms or sports forms or anything as it relates to your child in school IEPs and things like that um, care sources these are things as far as people who care for your child you want to keep all of their pertinent information in this section here so anyone who cares for your child you can keep in that section now the support resources this is case you your child maybe has a condition and you belong to a support um, group or anything like that or you look online and you get any information that you're following up on keep all of that in your support resources that way you can easily get to it in case of emergency this is where you keep any legal documents as far as health goes you want to keep it in that the next to kin information all of that information there the financial information is where you keep all your health insurance information or any uh, medical bills that you may want to kind of take to the hospital to follow up on or anything as it uh, deals with the financial portion the medical equipment if your child uses medical equipment, you keep all of that pertinent information in there. And lastly, birth. This is when you're pregnant, you put your sonogram pictures in there. You put any of the birth and delivery information in there just so that they can have it when they're adult. It's great to keep. Then on the folder, I put one folder in each one of the accordion files saying medical calendar. This is where you can keep a simple calendar in here for all of your current doctor's appointments and things for your child. So you can have one sheet in there and you can just have all of your appointments listed in there. And that just goes simply in the back and you're good to go. So this is just my method of putting together a kid's health organization binder or accordion file. For my health professionals out there, doctors, nurses, or anyone in the medical field, if you have any tips or anything, I would love for you to put them in the comments. That would be so helpful to us, friends. So definitely would love to hear your feedback. So I hope you found this video helpful. I am excited to give my nieces and nephews their, uh, or their mommies rather, the medical binders so that they can start um, kind of using them and building up their medical history to prepare to give it to them when they're adults. If you have any questions, let me know. Definitely go follow me on Instagram. I would love to have you over there. I love sharing my day with you. And so definitely go over there and join me on Instagram. I'll see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.